students, look at that. Everyone listen. First, we are going to start with the Nahum. Pronoun. Right? Note it down. Noun, pronoun, adjective. All right. Now you have a verb. Adverb. Look at that. Uh, everyone look at this. Parts of speech. Adverb. Preposition. Right? Conjunction. Right? Interjection. Okay. Only these parts of speech here in the adjective. You can also have articles. Okay. They, they simply call articles and some people will call determiner also. Don't worry. All these things will come under the same category. Okay. Now, if you simply know what it basically means, it will be easy to figure out. Especially any big sentence, you can figure it out. Noun, pronoun, adjective. See noun, play, name of the name of the things or place or location or quality or something like that. Now you tell me lexical. Let's get some help from lexical. What is going to be our students? Students. What is going to be students? Students. Noun. Students. Noun. Noun. What is going to be our Verb. Yeah, it is a verb, but you have to really tell this. Uh, see, only one verb is there. If only one verb is there, it's going to be main verb. It's a main verb, right? So here in the verb, the big one is write it down, main verb, uh, supporting verb, write it down. So base verb. Yeah, they call that's an uh, it is called I tell you infinitive verb. Write it down. Okay. Let's look into this. What is going to be you? Pronoun. Yeah, pronoun. Uh, okay. Sarvada, you have to switch on your video, everyone. Like moving and what he did, very good job. Prithika, you can switch on the video, Adinath, everyone. And uh, so for now, you should, because I'm going to ask you several questions here. Are you students? Look at that. All right, are you students? So you have only a few things here. Uh, as we move along, we can actually uh, talk about this. So we have to cover a lot of ground today. So we can go back and always do that very quickly. There you go. All right. I'm going to go with someone here. It's, it should be Nishwant. What is the answer for number two? Only Nishwant. The so option B. Read it out. Read out with the answer. Does the man at work? Ah, uh -huh. Lexica. Is the man at work? Yeah, here is the one. That at work is a noun here. So I'm going to really do this here. Is the man at work? The answer, Nishwar, is is the man at work. Okay, I'm going to go back and explain this. Let's let's do this. This is so important. Look at that. We are having something here. Is the man at work? Is the man at work? Very important, focus on this because it's not an easy question. Lexica is going to really run through the parts of speech here. Is. So main verb. Beautiful because there is only one verb is there. Okay, the is could be confusing. Sometimes it's a main verb, sometimes supporting over here. It's a main verb. We will find the reason. Let's find the reason there. Article. Article, we'll just settle with the article here. Man. Noun. 
Now, beautiful. Now, very careful here. Ach, 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 ach. That is a very easy word. You should be able to crack that. So we, have done, we have done an entire worksheet. So shall I? Yeah, help, help us. The preposition. There you go, preposition. Yes, Lakshika. Look at that. And comes the big deal. Work careful, careful. Lakshika, can you make it? Uh oh, can you make it? Can you make it? Uh oh. This is a hard word. This is a hard word. Sajana. No. Sir, conjunction. Uh oh. Sir, conjunction. No. Sajana, you want to help us, Sajana? No verb. No, it seems like verb, but it's not verb. So, English is, a, English is a funny language, isn't it? It's not conjunction. Anyone, anyone. Can you do this? Sign the read. The interjection? No. Right after proposition, this is going to come. This is a big word. You guys, I hope you guys are taking notes here. You want to really go back and visit it. At work. Lakshika, help us here. Anything? See, no one has told that answer yet. Can you believe it? No. Say no. Verb. verb. No, not at all. Verb can be a verb somewhere else, not here. That, that's all about the position. It comes down to that. It's so adjective. No way here. Adjective no. has to really modify the noun. No, adverb. Okay. Okay. We are going to see several sentences today and you'll get clear by that. Can you believe this? I'm going to put this answer. Nobody has told that. Nobody has told. It's only eight. You guys told almost all the seven or something like that. Determine. <laughs> determine is part of adjective, right? Determine is an adjective. This is not an adjective. All the determinants are adjectives. All the articles are also adjectives. It's not an adjective at all. That's all. Is that auxiliary verb? No, auxiliary verb cannot be like this, isn't it? Man, this is the one. Now write it down. Uh, we will talk about this now. We will talk about this. All right. We'll talk about this. I'm going to open another worksheet here. Another worksheet. For you, you can take it in the same place. Look at that. This is what it is. Look at that. Work. You can go with the V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Then comes now. Number six. It's not V6, it's now number six. Adjective, number seven. Adverb, number eight. Okay, now I am putting work here. Okay, I'm going to have work here. V2 is going to be what? Easy. Worked. 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 Very good. V3. Worked. Very nice. V4. Working. Working. V5. Now comes the deal here. Noun. Noun is number six. Noun is work. nothing but work. work. You can also have working. Man, this is English. Adjective would be working woman. Look at that working woman. What kind of woman? Working woman. You see that it's modifying the same working could be an adjective. Worked. Look at that. Now look at this. You can have something like that. L Y. Workingly. Now look at this work is a verb. You think all the time work is a verb, but it could be a noun. Wow, it could be a noun, noun, noun. Look at that. This is the way I put the table V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Noun is number six, okay? Noun. You call it, don't say number six and all. Say noun. That is in the sixth position. Then say adjective. 
He is in the seventh position. Let us do few more. Let us do few more to really understand what it is. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. How come work is coming as a... Uh, now, yes. Yes. Look at this. I work. I work hard. Now you tell me, you tell me, uh, someone can tell me, someone can help me here. Yeah? What is I? What is speech? Easy, 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 easy. Pronoun. Pronoun. Beautiful. Now you tell me what is work here. Careful, careful. Don't tell me noun. <laughs> it's not noun here, isn't it? You know, I work. I work. Sir, it's verb, verb. This is beautiful main verb. Look at that. Look at that. Sanjana, this main verb is nothing but this work. You see the V1? Verb 1, verb 2, verb 3, verb 4. Do, do you get this point here? Work. And how I work? I work hard. How I work? I work hard. What is going to be hard? Anyone? Anyone? Go for it. It describes just... the verb. It describes the verb, right? Say it. That's it. That's it. Write it down. Now, I like, I love my work. I love my work. Now, Sandra is going to tell me this. She's going to take each and every very apart and she's going to tell me what's the part of switch so I we all know. It's very easy. Get started. Pronoun, sir. Pronoun. I V U E she the love. Adverb. Uh oh why? I I love look at the subject and the thing. Lexica, like want to help us? Yeah, audio, audio, you have to unmute and talk. You have to, because you are muted. Why everyone is struggling? It's not uh, nothing to struggle here. This is the most basic thing you have to know. Can I say? It's a noun. Uh, see this word loud? You can also put like if you want it. The verb. Main verb. It's a main verb. Main verb. Now. You tell me what is my. So let's, let's get this work first. What is this work here? Adverb. Oh, what is this work? My work. I love my work. Noun. 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 And since this is now whose work? My work. Whose work? My work. You tell me now. Adjective. Noun. Adverb. Adverb. Adjective. Look at that because it's describing the noun. Can we go here? Can we say this here? Noun, basically a name, name of this, name of the place, name of the place's workplace here. Pronoun, you are, look at the pronoun, replacement of noun. Slowly, slowly get this one. What is noun? Replacement, what is pronoun? Replacement, what is replacement? See, uh, so we have Nishwan, let's say Nishwan. Okay. Let's say Nishwant. Nishwant is, I am saying his name is Nishwant. He attends every English class here. Look at that. Nishwant becomes he, right? Right? We have Sanjana. Let's say Sanjana. Sanjana does her homework well. She is a very good student. Look at that she. So, now, Nishwantar Sanjana becomes a noun, right? Now, we know name of the pair. Then the replacement, right? He or she becomes pronoun. Did you get it? That's a replacement. Did you get this? That is what is called noun becomes a pronoun. Because every time we don't want to call Sanjana, Sanjana. So what we call she. The moment we call her Sanjana, then she. Same way when we talk to talk to him for the first time, Nishwan. How are you, Nishwan? Then. Can you, can you do well? Can you attend the class? Something like that. So when we talk about that, Nishwant could become a he, or when I talk to him directly, it could become a you. I can tell him you. 
can you answer? So all these are pronouns, right? The replaceable words. The original word is a noun. This is what we have. Let's get this one. Now you tell me, like, look at that adjective. Big word. Adjective. Now I am going to write in three words. Describes. Describes. Noun. Look at that. Describes. Noun. And of course, are pronoun. Because noun is the pronoun. Pronoun is the noun, isn't it? It could describe nouns, uh, describe a uh, noun, or it could. Uh, we can see. Look at that. Work is a noun. My work. Whose work? My work. So it becomes an adjective. Okay. So very very important to say. Right? Then we can get into this. Now comes a verb. Very big action verb. Verb is the most important part of speech in a sentence. Verb is an action verb. That denotes the action that talks about what is happening. Very important. Note it down. Your notes is very important because that's how you are going to. Now look at that verb. Very big one because it's going to do three functions. It is going to do three functions. We will very, very cutely will describe that. Describe. It can describe. Describes. It can describe a verb. Right. Adverb describes verb. Now, look at that. Adverb describes adjective. Wow, you can. That we are going to look at. Adverb describes adjective. Now, the last function describes describes another adverb. Wow, that's all here. Superb, superb. Write it down, write it down. Take your time and we are going to give an example. Before we run through the worksheet, we are going to do some explanation. Okay? Yeah. Sanjana Dinesh, are you able to get this point here? We will get this one, right? We are going to get this one at work. He is very good. He is Look at that. He is good. He is very good. Look at that. He is very good. Look at that. He is very, very good. Okay. Now someone is going to help me here. Siva Pranav. What, what, is, what is the part of speech, Siva Pranav? Siva Pranav. Superb. Siva Pranav again. What is this? Siva main verb. Main verb. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Siva Pranav. So adjective. Super. Look at, look at this here, everyone. Look at this. Why it is adjective? It, the good talks about he. So it describes he. He is a pronoun. So noun and pronoun. So he is good. Has to be an adjective. Beautifully told. Now. So pronoun is going to say this. He. So pronoun. Beautiful. Yes. Main verb. Main verb. Now comes the I am going to switch the order. Look at that. He is going to tell me the answer for good. So pronoun. Good. So adjective. Adjective. Now he is going to tell the word for very. Sadverb. Can you repeat, sir? Pranav. Sadverb. Beautiful. Now, now look at that. Describes adjective. Look at my screen. It describes a adjective, right? Now that it is describing the good. It is describing the good. So it becomes an adverb. Wow. Now, sir, Pranav is going to tell me this. He. Say pronoun. Pronoun. Some noise is coming. You have to control. You guys have to control your noise, right? Yes. The main verb. Beautiful. Now, good. Good. Look at everyone. Look at it. Everyone, look at it. Good. good. Sir, adjective. Very nicely done. Now, the first, first very. Sir, adjective. Uh oh, 
he talks about this good this very talks Chalba, about Chalba. Chalba. now this very talks about this very go for this Chalba. that's it now look at this very adverb can describe another adverb look at my screen adverb can describe another adverb adverb can describe an adjective adverb can describe a verb that we are going to see that we are going to so now he works very hard now again sir pranav is going to come into the picture he works very hard sir pranav right everyone he has to write down this i i need the notes at the end of the like eight o'clock i need the notes very important pronoun here sir verb very nice main verb say main verb sir, now sir. look at the hard sir, adjective oh, oh i how i work i work hard how how does he work he works hard how does he work he works hard so pranav sir adjective no he works hard how how does he work he works sir, hard adjective. yeah now he works hard how how hard he works he works very hard so he works very hard give me this super pranav sir adverb there you go he works he talks about that this one. look at that he works hard this hard is nothing but look at that look at that he again and again before proceeding further you have to know the basics you have to know the basics all right adverb can describe a verb here look at the hard is describing verbs adverb adverb can describe an adjective look at this good very good so look at that very good and it can describe another adverb look at that very 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 look at that hard very 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 wow write it down sanjana do you really understand this do you understand this sanjana otherwise we have to do more examples Sanjana Jagannath, yes, do you understand this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's look at proposition. Yeah, proposition. Okay, write it down. Very simple explanation. I'll give. Connect. One part of the sentence. to another part connect one part of the sentence to another part sir like and not really that is going to be different connect one part to another part now conjunction that is connect one category to to another same category write it down all right we will category and all i will talk i am going to go with a very simple explanation here look at that i'm going to go with a simple categorization look at that my sister my sister and i are going to the market look at that everyone listen who wants to do this who wants to do this figure this out you are going to do it who wants to do it okay john sir shall i 
Siva, I'll come back to you. John, let's go with John now. Careful, John. Careful. Careful. This can really, sometimes this can, you, you might make it wrong. John, go with sister. What is sister? John, John, something, you know, your audio is this. Uh, don't, don't, don't worry, we can always come back, John. All right. Who wants to do, apart from John? John has an audio yeah. drop. Uh, uh, right, uh, yeah, I know Shiva is doing this nicely. I, I'll go with Lexica. This time I'm going to come back. I'm going, I'm going to come back. Uh, yes, Lexica. Go for it, sister. Uh, sister. Now, sister. Since sister is now, you can always do this. My who sister? My sister. Go for it. It could be pronounced better word. Tell me one more thing. Tell me one more thing, uh, Lakshika. Who sister? My sister. Who sister? My sister. It modifies the noun. Sister, right? There you go. It can be adjective also. So guys, write this down. Very important. It could be a pronoun. It could be a adjective. Good job, Lakshika. Good job. Good job. I, I, I. Now, uh, pronoun. Pronoun. Wow. Then what is going to be add? See, two categories. Same Conjunction. Category. Conjunction. Because it is connecting two persons here. My sister is a person. I is another person. Two persons. It is connecting two persons. Okay. My and, uh, and uh, I, my sister and I. My sister and I. I and my sister, you should not say. My sister and I. Okay, that is the way you have to put it. You have to put the I later. R. Lexica R. Main room. Oh, oh, did you miss it? Did you miss it? We'll go from here. Going. Verb. What verb it is? Give me that. What verb it is? Why? Why, Lakshika? Why are you struggling? You don't have to struggle. It's a stage for what? So shall I? Yes, Shiva. Going. So main verb. There you go. There you go, main verb. Let's lock it here. Now come here. Do this. R. So supporting verb. verb. Supporting verb. Oh, no, no, no. It's supporting verb. See, see this, Lakshika? It's a present continuous, structure number two, where you are going to have a main verb and this is a supporting verb. Careful, careful, careful. Now, Lexica, mark it. Mark it now. Beautiful. There? Article. There you go. Look at this combo. Then this comes in. Proposition. Yeah. Now, what is the definition for proposition? It connects one part of the sentence, right? The market is one part of, to the another part of the sentence. Wow. Two is connecting the first part to the second part. Superb. So we are not going to leave it at. I, my sister and I are going to the market on Sundays. Look at that. I am expanding. Look at the way I am expanding the sentence. Guys, focus on this. On Sundays, in the morning, in the morning, why car? Ah, okay, okay. Now, Lexica, can you complete this? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sundays. No. On. So prayer to the position. Very nicely done, everyone. Now, careful. Morning. Now. Wow. There. Article. In careful, careful. Preposition. Very good. Everyone write this down. It's a very long sentence. Car. Noun. Beautiful. Here. Bye. 
conjunction. Oh, by preposition. Yeah, see that the prayer to the noun, you, you are going to get it now. Prayer to the noun, article or noun combination, you are going to have a preposition. All of you write it down. Look at that. What happens? You, one part is connecting to another part by conjunction. Sanjana Jagannatha, look at this. Your part is getting connected with another part by preposition. This part is connected with another part by again preposition, right? You see that small, small parts are getting connected with the preposition. That is the connecting. But at the same time, two categories are connected by conjunction. And you see this, so many things are happening here. So many things are happening here. My sister, I are going to the market on Sundays in the morning by car. Now, hope you are really getting it, right? Supporting your main verb. Now, I'm going to add this one. I'm going to take this one here. I am going to ask Lexika just to make that change. Oh, I am doing this. I am putting it regularly. Give me this now. I am adding only one word here. Let's say, give me this. What a speech. Adverb. Wow. How are they going? Regularly they are going. Wow. We added this. For me, it is easy, right? Just making a change in the worksheet. For you, it is going to be tough, isn't it? Sanjana Chakravan. You have to add this word in between. Can you? Will you? Could you? Yes. You add it. You add it. Very good. I just wanted to make sure you understand the concept. Now, any worksheet, any sentence, you can play with it. You can you can really get to know about it. Always remember, the main verb and the supporting verbs are tricky. Sometimes the same word acts as a main verb. Sometimes it's a supporting verb. Likewise, verb and nouns are very tricky. As you said, like work, sometimes it's a noun. Work, sometimes it's a verb. We are going to see several sentences. Nishwant, are you ready?